This is my skincare routine. My skincare routine is not very intricate. I don't use a lot of things, so this video is not going to be very long. <laughs> I'm using it. In the okay, I'm just gonna take this off. First thing I like to use is lip balm. I like to use Sage because they have all natural products and this one is their Cocoa Lips. I have gone through a lot of these, literally coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, oh and stearic acid. So the first step on my skin, I have already done. I just got this Herbivore Cosmetics Cloud Jelly. It has vegan collagen, tremella, mushroom, and strawberry and it's a Plumping Hydration Serum. This gets absorbed into your skin really well. I love this brand, Herbivore Cosmetics. They're my favorite skincare company, and I use primarily their products. It's a really nice jelly. I use their Pink Cloud Moisturizer. I've been using this for a few years now, and I really love it. It always keeps my face moisturized, not too oily. Um, it can get oily if you put a lot, but it's, it's really great for dry skin. And I get one in my eye. <laughs> so I kind of put a lot. Lots of people have those fun tools. I do too, but I actually find that using my fingers works best. I have a little drawer in here. My, my rollers and my shade roller. Uh, yeah, I find that if I need more cooling, this is really nice. I like to just use my fingers. I'll give myself a little lymphatic drainage massage. And then I like to finish off right there. That's pretty much it. Um, sometimes if I didn't have enough sleep the night before and have like an audition or I just really don't feel confident in the droopiness of my eyes and tiredness of my face. I'll use these eye, um, I think it's serum that's in them, but basically if you puffs, it helps to moisturize. Honestly, it wakes you up if you're fatigued. It's hard to do this with one hand. I think I got this as a gift. I don't believe that all the ingredients in this are natural so that's why I don't really use it that much I just use it for emergencies and I like that there's so many it's like a giant stack the brand is kind of rubbed off but this is what it looks like can't really need it I like to keep this on for like 5 to 20 minutes sometimes I'll forget and just leave them on but like they wake me up really well at night before I moisturize, I'll use the same moisturizer. I used to have Herbivore Cosmetics Moon Fruit um, a night treatment, which is what I would use instead of this moisturizer, but now I haven't found it in stores or online anywhere, so I ran out of that and I still will use this at night. But sometimes I'll use this serum before, or I will only just use this without the moisturizer. This is the Bakuchi oil. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's from Herbivore. It's a retinol alternative, so a lot of people know what retinol serums are uh, to help even your skin tone. It's a really luxuri luxurious dropper. <laughs> I find that if I use oil on top of a serum and moisturizer, that my skin will break out and there'll be too much oil on my face. Also, on that same note, if I do break out, I really like their masks. I used to use their blue clay mask which is really good for drawing out toxins. It really cleans out your pores. I find that some masks I'll use and then I'll actually end up breaking out after using them, but I find with Herbivore Cosmetics, I don't. I got a little sample of their Prism mask. I got to show you my face wash that I like to use. One of the things that I don't use from Herbivore, it's the brand Fresh. I have been meaning to use Herbivore Cosmetics um, pink cloud jelly cleanser because it's a lot cheaper than this but um, this is the soy face cleanser my friend introduced this to me a few years ago she was like Beyonce uses this and it's all natural yeah and it's really gentle on my skin I feel like it really cleanses my skin without 
drying it out. Yes, so this is my go-to cleanser. I probably will try the Herbivore Cosmetics one because it's cheaper. Bally Body, they have a really great BB cream with SPF in it. If I ever wear makeup, this is the foundation that I'll use. I won't use actual foundation, I'll use this BB cream. It's a really nice light coverage, really natural looking, and it gives you a bit of that glow that a tan would give you. Um, in the winter months, I used this a couple times, which I actually didn't use this very much in the winter. Um, it's their Bally Body's Face Tan Water. Whenever I had a pimple or if I would break out, I wouldn't want to wear anything other than moisturizer on my skin. I, I love this stuff. When my face isn't tanned, this brings me back to my, like, the way my face would look in the summer. It's a self tan. You apply it like a toner before you moisturize, before you put makeup with a cotton pad. It's like four to six hours, the tan starts to develop. Really nice glow, really nice natural looking. I totally forgot that there was another uh, skincare product that I like to use. It's the most natural product you could think of. It is fresh aloe vera from the plant. I really like to use it in the summer. I find that in the winter it doesn't moisturize my skin as well. It has really great hydrating properties three or four in this one pot and then there's another and then I have one here this one's actually mine the other ones are Marcus's my boyfriend I have the gel or just any cuts that I get on my legs put it on there to heal it and keep it from scarring. One last thing I like to use is this Athea Lash and Brow Serum. Um, I used to wear makeup a lot, and when I stopped wearing makeup, I was really insecure about my eyelashes, that they were short and straight. I just didn't feel pretty, and so I started to get eyelash extensions. I always tried to make them look natural, but like now that I look back at it, like you can tell that I'm wearing eyelash extensions. I can take this off. And, um, and at some point I, you know, I finally realized that that was another extension of my inauthenticities, insecurity of, you know, wanting to hide that and feel secure and pretty with eyelash extensions. So I got this, it's a natural vegan growth serum. It's basically just some organic plant oils, only one little tube with a cute little tiny brush that you can apply onto your lashes. I haven't been using it very often, but when I first got it, I wore it like every day, put it on every morning and every night. They definitely have grown back since I've gotten eyelash extensions. You know, I know I don't have, like naturally I just don't have long eyelashes, but you know, I've found to love the way my, the way my face is, the way my features are. And yeah, and I love my face way more without makeup than I do when I do wear makeup. You know, makeup was just a hobby for me that I really enjoyed and a way for me to express some creativity and some art. And I still love applying makeup and playing with makeup. The last time I wore makeup, I was like, oh, now I have to wear this? Like, I don't really wanna wear it. I want, it. I want my face back. I really love makeup, but I also love my face naturally. So using all these natural, clean beauty products has really helped for me to embrace my natural beauty. Thanks for watching my skincare video. I wish I had a code for you to use for Herbivore Cosmetics, but I really love it. You can get their products on their website or at Sephora. Um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Bye.